In this caramel candy apple tutorial, I will show you how to make southern homemade caramel apples for beginners by using one cup ingredients. These caramel apples are delicious, amazing, soft, chewy, and firm. That's what you want. I will also show you why bubbles form on caramel apples and how to get around that. This is Candy Apple TV. I am your host and founder, DIY One Queen cup Diva. of unsalted butter. Two sticks equals one cup. You want to go ahead and melt your butter on the stove before adding your other one cup ingredients. One cup of packed brown sugar. <laughs> one cup of regular white sugar. One cup of light corn syrup. Stir. One cup of sweetened condensed milk. <laughs> Stir. And a pinch of sea salt or regular salt. You're gonna to continue to stir and then go up and down. To have the perfect, prettiest caramel without burning, you want to continue to stir until your caramel reaches 240 degrees. But when your caramel starts to boil, this is what it will look like. Sort of like gravy, but it's caramel. Continue to stir, put this back on the stove, and you're going to continue to stir, go up and down to make sure your caramel doesn't scorch. Okay, so the candy has reached 240 degrees. We're gonna let it cool some. Right away, you need to go ahead and add your vanilla. That's a teaspoon of vanilla. I didn't have this, so you're going to let the caramel drip and scrape on the side of the pot. We're just going to take our apple and dip. Bring it up, shake it, scrape it on the side of the pot, and place on your parchment paper you can place some butter down to your pot and you want to just rotate your apple like you do candy apples. You can leave some green showing. I'm just going to shake that caramel off and scrape the bottom of my apple. Tilt the pot. We're going to if you want to do your whole apple, you can, like that. I think it just looked cute with some of that green showing. This is a great recipe. Tilt your pot, rotate your apple. Bring it up, shake it, scrape it, put it on some parchment paper or a silicone mat. Rotate your apple. Bring it up. Rotate your apple. It's gonna be the last apple. And shake that extra caramel off. and scrape it on the side of your pot. Mm. 
We got a lot of apples dipped here. I got 12 apples dipped. Sorry, I didn't have the camera on. I'm gonna show you what the bottom looks like when you scrape it good. And shake it. And that's the caramel apples. Now, if you want to put nuts on there, that's fine. Let's see if we have extra. Let's see. I'm gonna see if I can scrape this last this apple with this one. Okay. Rotate your apple. Bring it up. Shake, shake, shake. Shake that caramel off. I mean, it sticks to the apple really well. That's what you want. You want a soft, firm caramel apple that's not going to give you any issues. So I'm going to give these about 30 minutes to cool off. And then I'm going to come back and show you how soft they are. Okay. So I just pulled this one off the paper. Okay, I'm gonna pull this one. Let's pull this one. Okay. Now look at this. It's soft. These will remain soft and chewy and firm. And that's what you want. Mmm. Mmm. So, this is what you want. Homemade, homemade caramel, one cup ingredients. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I'm gonna come back and see how these apples are holding up. Three. So these are the apples that came out really, really well. Before I had dipped these apples in the caramel, I let them sit in the refrigerator overnight. I let the Granny Smith apples sit in the refrigerator overnight. Then I took another bag of apples and just let them sit in the refrigerator for about 40, 45 minutes. And I'm going to show you how those came out. Which are these. The apples I let sit in the refrigerator prior to dipping um, all of the caramel apples. So these sit in the refrigerator for about 40 to 45 minutes. I didn't do the regular candy apple cleaning process on these. However, you can. I just placed these in the refrigerator for about 40 to 45 minutes to see if that's an issue that people are having when they say they get bubbles on their apples although they have placed them in the refrigerator so you're not putting your apples in the refrigerator long enough and this is the prime example that I am showing you here today versus the good apples that I just let sit overnight so if you want good pretty caramel apples without the candy apple cleaning process just make sure your apples are good and cold 45 minutes to an hour is just not going to do just let them sit overnight just let them sit overnight in the refrigerator so you can have a good caramel apple now this is the one this is a um, 
this is just an apple that I can use to show you look at it's so soft it's not hard it's chewy I'm gonna eat this one too these good before I had dipped my apples in the caramel, I let the Granny Smith apples sit in the refrigerator overnight. Then I took another bag of apples and just let them sit in the refrigerator for about 40 minutes, which are these. Remember I showed you the apples with the bubbles, but after I placed them in the refrigerator, it looks like the bubbles settle a little but they're still good look at this bite look at this caramel it's still soft chewy and firm that's what you want you don't want your caramel apples to get hard up on you man this recipe is a good caramel recipe for beginners this is banging this caramel is so good if you have enjoyed this candy apple tutorial, make sure you stay tuned to watch my next videos coming up right here on Candy Apple TV. I'll see you in a few seconds over in the next video.